my wardrobe has been something that I have been meaning to do for years and years and years, and that is no exaggeration. So you can imagine what's in there. This is it. This is all that I own. It's jam packed, yet every day, just about, I say to myself, I've got nothing to wear. And that's true, because hardly anything in this wardrobe actually fits me. It's things that I've brought because I thought they were beautiful and I see in my head the way that I want them to look on me. So I buy them and think, I'm gonna fit in that one day. And guess what, I still don't. First thing that I'm gonna do, so stage one, get all of this lot out of here and onto the bed. got two massive piles this side all dresses I've got my girls bridesmaid dresses I've got my old bridesmaid dresses and this is from 20 years ago this is a side that I tend to go to on a daily basis um, but there's so many things in here that I know I'm just never gonna fit in and I'm never gonna wear so it's got to go so let's get sorting Okay, so that's another stage complete. So I've done my evening wear section and these are probably the hardest ones to part with because they're my kids' bridesmaid dresses at my wedding and their christening gowns. Um, yeah, but I've got photos of them in it. They're never gonna wear them again and they can be sold so I think they're gonna go up and they're gonna go up for sale this is my other section of things that are gonna go for sale just let me move this so as you can see it's a lot of dresses before I got married I went on a bit of a shopping spree in apricot and I bought lots of beautiful things for day dresses because we were getting married in Italy and I hardly wore them and then I put weight on and they just don't look as pretty on me as I want them to so I'm gonna let my daughter have a look through them but otherwise they're gonna go up for sale as well probably put them up on um, is it vintage I think I put it up put them up on vintage um, my other section now this is the start of my keep because of memories section this waistcoat is absolutely horrendous I realized this but I had to wear this when I was a croupier um, at the age of 21 and it's still got my badge on there, all the little pins that I collected and even though it is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen, I like to keep it because it's a memory. So that's staying. And then in here, I think I have thinned this wardrobe quite a lot. Um, I've got a little bolero jacket some nice little dresses a pencil skirt but I have thinned that so so much um, I've got a jumpsuit three-quarter length dress and then some dresses it's really bizarre I didn't do this on purpose but all the dresses that I've kept are phase eight dresses <laughs> I just I love them I love the way they're cut I love the way that that they sit when you wear them they're so flattering absolutely love phase eight so that's that section done. Um, next is my day-to-day -to -day tops. 
Uh, I think there's going to be quite a lot that I can get rid of in this lot. now complete my wall of things for my daughter to go through and to sell has got rather big and then in the wardrobe again you can see on this side sorry the light isn't very good in here but everything now has space to hang and it's not all crammed in and then the only other thing that I found well, there are a few other little vest tops and then I found my Devil's Horseman t-shirt and this, this means the world to me because I grew up in my teens um, on the stud farm of the Devil's Horseman stunt team um, and it holds so many fond memories. Um, they went on to be the horse masters on things such as Game of Thrones and so many so many blockbuster movies that I cannot even name them um, so that is going absolutely nowhere and my plan is to get that put in a frame at some point so I can put it on the wall um, but yeah next step the shoes Okay, so these are the shoes that I'm keeping. I've got all my boots along the back, really reduced my high heels because I just don't wear them anymore. I'm past the age of going out at the weekend to the pub. So we've reduced that to the minimal high heels. I've got a few pairs of flat comfy shoes and then downstairs I've got my walking boots um, and I've still got my gym trainers that are in my gym bag. But this, this is everything that I am getting rid of okay then that is my wardrobe cleared out I'm happy with the results but I now have a complete mess on my hands to clean up I have hundreds of hangers left over the best ones of which I'm going to gather up put in the back of my closet because we always need hangers but I am really happy I've got a big pile of stuff on my wardrobe that I've got to upload onto a site and sell which should put some pennies in my pocket and then the actual wardrobe the clothes have actually got space. I've only got things in here that I go to on a regular basis. And if I've got bits missing, I can go and treat myself. As long as I'm strict, I buy something that fits, that I'm gonna wear, and isn't gonna sit there and just take up space. But yeah, I'm happy, I'm glad I've done it. I have now created a lot more work for myself but it will be worth it at the end of the day. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below because there's gonna be plenty more videos like this coming your way. But for me, that's it for now. See you in a video real soon. Bye.